Here's some close-up work of the, um, the filters changing. So the first filter, you, you can tell the, disc, the, the filter's been assigned. So that's the orange filter, 05602. And then we can change to the next one. That's just standard UV that you predominantly use for most of the 99% of the time. And here's one that's in the with the yellow, Y48, Y2, probably perfect for black and white photographs. So I'll switch it back. Focusing, I'll hold it down. That's how much it rises. It's probably about four millimeters. As you can see the condition, here's, here's the apertures, so the aperture goes in line with the, the diamond. I'll just show the stops, F11, F16, F22, so let's see if you can see closely in the lens. We'll see, I don't think you could probably see me change the apertures because the iris in this lens is very small. And here's the rear cap. Here's the, I'll put the hood on. The rear cap. That's the pin, aperture pin for the Spotmatic for the uh, film camera. Here's the uh, rear tab with the number four, I think it's three, eight, four, two. 43842 and um, so it's all set to manual especially when you use a mirrorless camera now what I'll do is we'll take this lens and I'll fit it to this camera the Fuji X-H1 with the uh, with the FOTSI adapter M42 to X mount and I'll sample video let's go Nice day for a video. So this is with the lens fitted. Hello, hello world. I want to dedicate this video to Mark Holtz, my Canadian fellow friend. I think he just got one of these lenses. It was on his bucket list. But I'm going to challenge him. How about we'll see who can wear the loudest shirt. But as you can see, it's sunny and warm here. Very warm sitting out the back. Australia is the place to be right now. But here you go. Here's the uh, some perspective with the 17 millimeter lens, especially using as video. I've guessed the focus because my arm's not long enough. But usually, if you you set the lens to to the distance, so this for me it's about probably one and a half meters, almost two. The other thing you've got to take into account that they, this lens fitted on an APS-C sensor. So 17 millimeter times 1.6 equals around 28 millimeters. So that's that's the other the other thing. You're not getting the full 180 degree perspective compared to a full frame lens. But so yeah, it's um, you know what, Pentax makes some beautiful lenses. And for, for the value and what you purchase, I, I think you're crazy not to have a, have a couple of them. So how's the uh, Fujifilm codec? The light, this is the Turner. And I tend to like it, it's, you know. It needs a, a little tweaking in uh, when you take it into the video in the editing suite. But overall, pretty good. So, people are looking, what's here on my, uh, this is another, another fun fisheye little camera to use. This, this, I forget what the actual perspective is, but I'll load it up and we'll, we'll just fly around the, this camera setup. Let's turn it on. I've had this for a while, it only, it shoots 1080p. Um, 
if you look at my photos, you probably see this little camera sitting on the side in the camera bag. This thing, I, I take it everywhere. Um, it's one of those things you just, in emergencies, if you want to film something or the kids or chase the kids, it's really handy. It's really, uh, the design's really neat. I don't know if Canon, if Canon will bring out another one of these little cameras. But um, you just hold it like this. I like the, um, the monitor on it, the setup. Let's turn it on. And you can see why I like fisheye lenses. So now we're live. Back onto the, the Canon Liegra. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called a Liegra Mini X. And come with me, we'll get up and um, have a look at this camera. So this is the setup, believe it or not. It's probably going to blow out the background. As you can see, I, um, I've added the uh, V-mount battery setup. Uh, Fotka, Fotka make, make this uh, battery plate. And you just run some power into the camera. I do it via a uh, via the USB, isn't it? USB to um, I won't take it out, but yeah. The other thing that this top one powers the Atomos, the Atomos monitor, continuous power, and that'll run all day. Love these handles in the video. That's by Small Rig. Small Rig's the same with the cage. So simple setup, nothing over the top. Here's the new, the new hard drives. Was it Angel? Whatever it is Angel, whatever it is, with the name, the company. So yeah, the other thing is I try to lighten the um, cage with with the carbon fibre rods, and audio. Audio is the um, Movo shotgun mic. So look at that. Looks like this has already gone to sleep. Let's find out what the problem is. There we go. Don't know what happened there. Press record. That's how I do it. So there you go, that's a quick uh, little showing of the 17mm for video, minus the, uh, the crop factor. What can we do next? In the description box down below, throw, throw what you want next for video. Do you want me to go through the Atomos 5? I'm not the best at describing things, I cut corners. Um, I like to take things in one shot. Or one take and throw it on the timeline hit export maybe I might um, not get so lazy and do some proper proper transitions but because it's free content I tend to um, just you know make do overall happy with the X-H1 XH1 is a great camera, especially for video. It's lightweight and the ability to record externally. It's awesome. I said goodbye to Canon, but oh. The next lens? Okay, next lens. We'll, we'll make a video and some close up shots of the 20mm. I can go through each Takamar if you want. If you want me to go through each lens and, and we do a talk, you yeah, know, I'm happy to do that. So let's go and I'll, um, I'll take, take you through onto Flickr and let's have a look at some samples of other people's content. Let's go. So while all the footage imports into Avid, I wanted to show you some sample photographs on Flickr. So this is the uh, dedicated group, 17mm Fisheye Takama. A place to share photos taken with your 17mm fisheye Takamar. You can also post pictures of the lens. And I'll just go through. So 
Uh, usually they have some good discussions and and stuff like that. A majority of this work, you'll notice that it's mostly with film, the film camera. So the beauty of mirrorless has opened the doors to use these old lenses. Let's have a look at this guy by H. Yamamoto. And it looks good. Signature star at night with the lights. One, two, three, four, five, six. With six aperture blades. Looks good. There's a little bit of the distortion that comes down. The tree looks good, nice and straight. So the next one, I like this one with the lighthouse by Winston Sinco. Nardi Lighthouse, our first night in Basco Batanes. This is the famous Nardi Lighthouse with the Milky Way in the background. There you go. Looks cool. You can see that he shot at f4. Because it's got that little softness. Let's go one more. There you go, star trails. Old lens, slow photos, photo stream. So that's what it means. That means old lens. Yeah, okay, Pentax. There you go. Little bit of vignetting in the corners. Let's see his camera. Doesn't say, but I'm, it looks for me that that's a film shot for some reason. Photography. He's also got a Facebook page. Looks like it. Okay, so here's another link that I'll put in the description box. Pentax forums. The disappointing uh, thing about this this website, they they're lacking a lot of information, or or any they haven't updated new content. So let's have a look at the date. Oh, November 2018, that person registered. Lens review, only a year ago. So you can find these reviews. You can the the other thing is. When you scroll down, you'll see there's a lot of stuff missing. They should fix that up. Just delete it. The person's disappeared. Clean it up. So here you go. It's got this is done on a Canon 1DS. You can see it's a film shot. Signature film look. I like that. Anyone you know who likes motorbikes? Okay, 2007. So there you go. So I'll leave the link in and go back to when I was talking about the Liegra Mini X camcorder, 12.8 megapixels, and it's just classified as ultra wide f2.8 fisheye fisheye lens. These are these are cheap now. And in, interesting reviews. So there we go. There's some stuff that you can find on Flickr. I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of info about this 17mm lens. If I've forgotten something or rambled on, leave a comment below. So thanks, guys, for watching. See ya.